Hey everyone, so we are building a reward model for code called Code Brown. So, yeah, what does that even mean, right? So, what is the reward model? And I'm sure everyone here is familiar with RHF, which is basically reward model is uh, in the RHF context, it takes in a model output and give it reward based on whether uh, it will be liked by human evaluators. Right? So, reward model basically is an evaluator to see whether the model generated output is you know, good or bad, the output number or bad. So why do we want to make a code-specific reward model, right? So the first is, of course, training with reinforcement learning. So why would OpenAI use RHF to train their large, large language model? Because it's very expensive and hard to get high-quality human annotators to you know, generate all the um, examples to train on. So what they did is that they used this annotator to train reward model and use the reward model to train the large language model. So basically, a good reward model gives you infinite data to train a large value model. Um, and the, a second way we can use a good reward model for code is we can overgenerate a VRAM, right? So um, let's say I, I have a specific reward model in mind. I can get you know, 10 different outputs from 10 different large value models. I can use the reward model to automatically evaluate these different outputs and select the best one based on my specific uh, demands. Right, so there are many different ways we can apply those. Um, for example, you know, copilot uh, that actually write codes in your own style, uh, domain-specific copilot. There are many different ways. So, yeah. So, um, cool. All right, I'll take over and talk a little bit about um, how we generate the data set for such a reward model. Um, yeah. So um, it's a combination of an existing data set, which is called Stack Overflow QC, which is um, a list of Python accepted answers on Stack Overflow. And that, we use that as the good example um, in, the, in the pair, in the ranked pair. And then I, I literally pumped it through Tone 5 Turbo to generate me bad examples that serves the same purpose. I think it's pretty creative to ask models to generate bad examples, and apparently they're not bad at generating bad examples. <laughs> and so we um, scraped slash generate around uh, 15,000 pairs today, which is a good start. And, um, oh, oh, can I just go back and explain? Oh, sure. So real quick, um, quick explanation on the, the model slash training architecture. So the multinomial reward is um, using code llama as the base model, and we unfreeze a certain amount of weights um, and implemented our own forward function that calculates loss. And <laughs> Thanks. Um, and the loss is um, using one of the OpenAI papers uh, uh, loss function for an multinomial uh, reward calculation. And basically the input contains an intent which is like what you want the code to do, and then pairs of good and bad code, and the output is just um, a tuple of numbers, scores for um, each of the code. And now let's go to a quick demo. So um, let's say we want to evaluate the results of some random code and some code that sorts the key of, dic of a dictionary by its values um, and try to put it in a list. Um, it's a little bit slow, so we'll have it run for a little bit. Yeah, and it'll tell us that, um, so the, be uh, the higher the score is, the better uh, the output is, so code one is better. And then we want to sh quickly also show code generation, which is a demonstration of overgenerate and re -rec. Um Sure, let's just use the same example. This one, I feel like it's going to have pretty similar outputs, so we'll see. Um, we we're using four models, uh, it's 3.5 turbo, GPT-4, Claude and Sid and Claude 2, right? Um, so you'll see the printouts of each of these models, and then eventually it'll tell you which one is the best one based on the reward. Okay. I don't know if we have a popularity vote on which one's best <laughs> from what we're seeing here. Yeah, but they're all sort of similar, I guess. Some of them are more vote for ghosts than the others. So I picked Claude Instant. I don't show that news. Yeah, which is like a very simple, um, yeah. Does anyone have uh, other examples to try? They got a bit more complex so the models can yeah. differentiate. Just any, any code input. Uh, do a for loop versus sorted. Like for, for this problem. Ah. 
What? So you want the for loop? Uh, I want to see if it likes for loops for sorting more than the sorted function itself. You want to see if the model likes for loop for sorting? Yeah, if it thinks that for loops are better or worse than than using oh, the, okay. the built-in sorted. Oh, function. I see. Yeah. Um, I mean, all of the models do the same thing. Then, then in that yeah, case, we would, everyone is easily yeah. sorted. Um, let's try a different example that I tried earlier. Is like, oh, sure, sure. Uh, implement, uh, implement something that we use the concept of this joint set in the end. Uh, so could you repeat? Implement <laughs> something that would use the concept of this joint set. Union. A joint set unit. This joint, joint set, set unit. unit. So you generate two sets. Oh, that would be awesome. Awesome. This joint set unit. Like this? <laughs> Sure. sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I feel like this is something someone would ask you on a code interview. Okay. I'm pretty abstract. <laughs> but very cool. Um, and just just to clarify, we did not finish training the model today, um, partially because we really wanted to get proper. Wow, that's really complex. Okay. Okay. Do you have a preference on which ones? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll let you vote before having the reward model vote. Um, yeah, so this is actually an earlier version of a different reward model that is not specifically trained on code. So the result you're seeing right now is a mock of what it would actually be, but worse. Because um, I think I believe this reward model was originally trained on Llama 7B, but Llama 1 7B, and it was trained to rank um, text output as opposed to uh, just code specific. Um, so, yeah, once we actually finish training, it'll hopefully be way better than this. I guess the good thing with this prompt is some are actually implementing this joint set and some are showing how to use it. Mm. And it, the request was clear. It actually did say implement something about this joint Wow. Yeah. yeah, I feel like everyone is using, uh, using, using this joint But yeah, if anyone has any advice on getting code examples, it's not Python, because this uh, Stack Overflow QC dataset only has Python and SQL examples, uh, but we want like high quality other language examples. Does this ask it to convert it to another language? Ah, Ooh. Yeah. and then I make it worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll generate oh, Python here. first. Yeah. I, I would probably integrate like Google, Facebook's like repositories on GitHub. For but, like high quality code samples. but then we would have we would need to have come up with like a like an input um, prompt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. For like it might be a little bit difficult since the repos. Yeah. Are any questions? We're out of time. Actually. Oh, sorry. sorry. Cool.